strengthen our faith and purify our hearts. Bless us with your mercy and guidance throughout the year. Amen. Now, now Lord, forget it. O oh Allah, the most merciful and compassionate, we beseech you, you to shower the people of Gaza with your peace and tranquility. Ease their burdens and alleviate their suffering. O oh, most generous, grant them strength and resilience to endure these trials and bestow upon them your guidance and protection. Bless them with relief from oppression and grant us them hope and grant them hope for a brighter future. Amen. Amen. You rather look, look at the performances, so I'll keep it very short. I just have a few thank yous uh, for everyone. But before I begin, um, yeah, in uh, Alhamdulillah, it's been a very busy period, and Alhamdulillah, um, multiple events that we've had in Ramadan, and also great to see all of you here today. Um, I just, uh, I'll just start with the thanks, inshallah. So, first, I just want to thank the community, uh, the committee. Um, you may not be all familiar with it, so I'll just, uh, with them, so I will just introduce everyone within the team. Um, so, there's myself, Zaid, it's heartening to see all the youth being involved. Uh, so we had a youth initiative in Ramadan, uh, where it was great to see there was about 30 kids that uh, showed up, and inshallah, hopefully from that we will see a few more youth initiatives. It's great to see the youth uh, being so enthusiastic about this. Um, and I will leave it there, inshallah. So, yeah, we want the moment. Okay, thank you, Brother Zay. And now we would like Alicia to come up and introduce our mother. Madrasa, Madrasa Tukira will be performing a play based on a few last summer. I hope we all pay attention and revive these summers by including them in our day, today lives. Inshallah, hope you enjoy it. Assalamu alaikum everyone. We're going to enact a scenario of when a typical person goes to bed. Watch carefully to identify any mistakes. I hope you've taken notes. Let's see what happens according to us on now. We greet. Then we, we, must, we must wait. We must make wudu. Dust our bed three times and say the supplication. Then Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam cupped his hands together and read Surah al -Aflas. Surah 
would work with him whatever he was able to off his body with his hands, beginning with the hidden faith, and then the remaining parts of the body. We must, res we must recite the last two ayah from Surah al baqarah بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم آمن الرسول بما أنزل إليه من ربه والمؤمنون كلهم آمن بالله وملائكته وكتبه ورسوله لا نفرق بين أحد من نسره وقالوا سمعنا وعطانا بفعلك ربنا وإليك المسيح لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا عساها لها ما كسبت وعليها ما كسبت ربنا لا تواخذنا إن نسينا أو أخطأنا ربنا ولا تحمل علينا إسا كما هملت أول الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تحملنا ما لا توخذ لنا به واعف عنا واغفر لنا ورحمنا أنت مولانا فانصرنا على القوم الكافرين Whoever reads the last two ayah of Surah Al-Baqarah will be protected from every evil, misfortune, and harm. And finally, recite ayahs and Kursi. We're going to enact a scenario when a typical person enters and leaves the bathroom. Watch carefully to identify any mistakes. Now let's see what we must do according to a sunnah. We must enter the bathroom with our left foot. Say this supplication when entering the toilet. Say Bismillah when changing or using the tub as students mostly reside in the bathroom and deep down the drain. This will ensure that they won't see us, harm us, or even possess us. I would like to stress the difference between the bathroom and the toilet here as we must be careful not to mention Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's name in the toilet as it's a dirty place. When leaving the bathroom, we must use our right foot. Then say the supplication, supplication 
We're going to enact the scenario of what a typical person eats. Watch carefully to identify any mistakes. Now let's see what we must do according to the sunnah. Before we eat, we say, we must eat with our right hand. We must eat from what is in front of us. And if food drops, clean it and then eat it. Eat with three fingers. The etiquette of sitting when eating is to keep the left leg upright and sit on the right. After eating, we must ensure that there is no food left over on the plate. Clean our fingers and then say, and made my fasting easier at school. This is one of the main ideas that differs from fasting at home. For me, at home, it's boring, and fasting makes me starve quite quickly. But I remember to be patient and to strive to be the best I can be. So what has fasting taught me during the month of Ramadan? It has taught me patience and to always pleasure the good reward Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses us with Ramadan. Ramadan is a blessed month and has taught me good habits and I hope to keep these good habits for the rest of my life. Thank you and eat for God everyone. Jazakallah away for sharing your experience and I'm going to get Jarvis for sharing his experience.
Assalamu alaikum everyone. My name is Jazab and I've put together a speech about the challenges of fasting at high school. One of the main challenges I faced was seeing people eat in front of me. My friends would sit on the benches and eat their food, which made me feel hungry. The first day was especially difficult since the days were longer. Sometimes my friends would ask how many days were there until Ramadan ended. But I realized they were not really concerned about me, but rather they were hoping I would share my lunch with them. The other challenge I faced was a compulsory subject, which was PE. During PE, we had to run four kilometers of cross-country training. It would be twice or thrice a week. The first day was tiring. The run felt like it was endless. I would get tired, thirsty and hungry. This was my first year at Boys High School and they had a market day which was completely new to me. They sold really tempting food which happened to be twice during Ramadan and I felt it was hard to. I came home and discussed these challenges with my mum and I realised it's not the long hours of fasting or the tempting foods or the things of memorising the Quran or the standing in the Rawi prayer or even staying up for Qiyam. The hardest part is realizing that we are our biggest enemy, acknowledging that our nafs are stronger than we think. Even though the shaitan is locked up, he has managed to leave pockets of influence all over us. It is very tough and bitter still to swallow to know when we slip and temper our impatience Laziness in Ibadah, it's not because of Waswasa, but rather it's our own self and evil that has built with us. At the end of the day, whatever was tempting me during this fasting was satisfied. I get to eat what I want. Alhamdulillah. This evil bitter is different. We are broken and we are bleeding for our brothers and sisters in Gaza. Eid Mubarak to all my brothers and sisters in Palestine. We love you and we stand for you and we are fighting for you. Free Palestine. It's amazing to hear what the kids actually experience during Ramadan as parents and as community. Now let's get we to give her a little speech and you know because she's a female we can hear a different perspective. Thank 
just not feel that way. So now you really know what goes on in their minds. <laughs> All right, can I get Brother Zay to share a few more words with us? <laughs> Sorry, I should have stuck to my notes. I have forgotten one of the most important things. I uh, just wanted to say um, thank you to RDB, one of the most important roles within our community, to our Madrasa teachers. Um, who are teaching our children, our future generation. So, may Allah reward you immensely for your dedication. And I would sincerely apologize about earlier, but may Allah reward you for the very, very important work that you do. And just information for everyone, so, uh, the Madrasa session is um, at um, 10 to 12 on Sundays in the Masjid, inshallah. So please speak to me, the sister for son, and inshallah. Jazakallah. And um, well done, thank you. Okay, we're just going to uh, start the Bhatti Castle back up and then inshallah very shortly there will be games for the children to so please stick around.